Well, 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 we have a band box here. This time, it's a con exclusive box. Hey guys, it is Ben, aka Black Label. We're going to be bringing you an unboxing video for the month of October. Actually, I'm sorry, for the month of September. This is a special unboxing that we're doing, actually. This is actually a, uh, a separate box that we have purchased uh, on the side of a normal band box. Um, Shannon come to me and she was like, hey, they got this new special box that you can go ahead and get, and it's a one-time deal that they have for, uh, for the uh, Comic-Con. So I was like, sure, let's go ahead and go for it. So she did buy it, it came in, and uh, this is the first time I'm able to go ahead and unbox it. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody else. It's just me today, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you the unboxing just by myself. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first thing that you're going to see as you open up this box, it'll look exactly like this. So, hopefully you guys will uh, see something like this. If not, I've, from what I understand, they actually have different variants of this box. So, um, let's take a quick peek. Now, the very first thing that I went ahead and pulled out is going to be this Bambox pin. It's a con exclusive, so I'll just set it here so you guys can take a quick peek. It is a Thanos pin, all right? The next thing we're gonna grab is this uh, next item here, and it looks like it is a item that is from the E.T. movie. Uh, it looks like an E.T. ring of some sort. A ring that you can actually, uh, looks like resize if you want to put it around your finger, made in Taiwan. Uh, nothing that, so far, that I would say is really cool, but it is, <laughs> okay, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little speechless, but right now, it's just two small items. Alright, so we got some photos here, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out, pull them out, and uh, this photo looks like it is a uh, signed or photo print of Cindy Morgan. So it looks like from Caddyshack. And it is a BAM authentic photo. Now, if I was into things like that from back in the day, I would say that that's pretty cool. But uh, to me, it is, it's not something that I was hoping for. So we'll go ahead and set that to the side. Next thing that we have is another art print, which I think does look pretty interesting. As you can see here, it is a Darth Vader art print from Nathan Call, number 412 out of 499. This is a pretty nice art print. It looks like Vader's upset that it's time to wake up. And it is a official art print. I kind of like that. That doesn't look too bad. Next item we have is an M-Tech USA box of some sort. Oh, it's a knife. It is a knife, so let's open this. Let's take a look at this knife. Doesn't look half bad. That's what it looks like. Nice. Very nice. Nice and sharp. But still got the uh, the tip on there. It's got a nice feel to it. It's a little little small. Nothing wrong with having a, uh, a knife as a, uh, a weapon for protection. I don't know if I would ever use it outside the house. I mean, don't know how people react to that in the real world. Uh, the next thing we have is another art print, um, and it looks like it is a drawing slash art print from, I don't know, it looks like it is some kind of, oh wait, there's a certificate in here. Let's see what it says. This artwork is a one-of-kind authentic original piece that was used in the production of the cartoon. Nice. So if you guys like Street Fighter, the cartoon, this is an actual art print and, and for, uh, for the drawing as well as the for the animated series. That's actually really cool. All right, that's uh, pretty neat. And I think this is the last item. Yep, it is the last item. So it looks like it is a license plate from Kansas, K-A-Z-2-Y-5, which, uh, from if I remember right, this is definitely the Sam and Dean Winchester license plate that they put on Baby, which is the uh, car. So, guys, this is okay. I'm a little 
concerned with the amount of dollars that I put into this, around $35 to $40 to get this box. And uh, I have some thoughts about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together for you, for you all, and I'll give you my thoughts here in just a minute. Okay guys, here it is all put together from this Bambox Con exclusive box. I would have to say this is the first time that Bambox has actually disappointed me. Now, I did take a look at some of the videos out there from Bambox of people who've received the con box, and uh, I'm a little surprised that some of them actually received better things. Some have received uh, the Batarang, which is a metallic Batarang. Some have received an actual signing uh, uh, art print from the girl who played Katana in the Suicide Squad movie, but I haven't seen anybody really receive this. So I'm a little disappointed for the amount of money that uh, that this house have actually spent to get this. Um, I don't find any value in this particular box. So all I have to say is that this is not an approve. I don't like this box this month. So I would have to say in the next time that we decide to see any special box, and we need to be very, very careful what, they, what they're going to be bringing us. But still doesn't change my mind about Bambox. There is some things here that is actually very cool to have. Uh, these prints right here hopefully will one day be worth something. And then with the art prints such as the Darth Vader, that's really, really, really cool. Um, the pin would definitely go well with all the other pins that we've received in the past. Um, but to me, as a collector, there's not much value here. There is not much value. So if you guys are thinking about getting a, a Comic-Con box from Bambox, I would say you're taking a chance of getting something like this versus getting something like some other people have gotten, which is really cool. Now, thankfully, Bambox did come out with the ability to do a trade where you can trade with other Bambox uh, owners and see if there's something that you want to get. So, for example, I want to get that Batman Batarang. So I would definitely trade uh, something like the license plate or the knife to go ahead and get that. Or even this print right here. Because, you know, Star Wars is one of my favorite things. But, you know, this, I don't know. With the theme that I have going on in my room, I don't think it would actually, you know, mesh well. So, with that said, guys, if you like the box that you see here, give me a thumbs up on the video. If you don't like the item, uh, give it a thumbs down. You know, it basically tells me how you guys feel about this and that's how I'm going to go ahead and put it. Now, if you don't subscribe, um, the, you're not going to get the chance to go ahead and get something out of this box that I would uh, be giving away, which I do give away boxes. They're all the giveaways that are ready to go um, right there. So each month I do a giveaway um, for the lucky subscriber that gets a mix of what I receive out of these boxes every month. So you might get one of these items. You might get a knife. You might get uh, a license plate. You might get a pin. You might even get a t-shirt. Um, so it's something that I want to do to give back to you guys. So again, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, if you like this box, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully uh, um, you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Thanks.